Hello everyone and welcome to this video. So today I just wanted to share with you some behind the scenes for my upcoming Harry Potter video episode 2. I was watching my old episode yesterday and I thought I think it's so sad that you guys don't get to see how much work actually goes behind a video like that. When it's such a short format people don't realize how much work I've put into these videos. So I just wanted to do a breakdown of my upcoming Harry Potter video so you can see just how much work actually goes into this. And I just want to show you a little clip from my upcoming video and it's Dobby flying in a car with me. Um, and there's a lot of different techniques going on, but let's just see the clip for now. There we go. Let's go! Yep! So that's the clip. If you're into 3D at all, you will know that there's a lot of work going on here. First of all, we have Dobby, who is a completely 3D character. We have a cloth simulation, which is blowing in the wind. We have me in the background. Actually, I didn't use green screen. I used a new software called Switchlight, which you might have heard about if you're into that. And then we have a car flying. We have clouds. There, like, there's a lot of things going on. And if we jump into the 3D scene, so we have a car. Uh, and inside the car is me and Dubby. And this is actually the shot from behind, which you saw uh, here. It's this shot where I'm, it's the shot where I'm flying. Oy. Let's just go back here. As you can see, I'm in the scene and I've, I'm actually affected by the lights in the scene. And that is because I've used a software called Switchlight, which allows me to relight my uh, recording of myself in 3D. And this is so awesome. Let me just show you what that means. So it actually means that this is just, let's call the green screen footage. Actually, I just shot this up against a white wall and then AI did the rotoscoping. But if I move the light, you can see that it actually affects me. If I were to do this with the old method, which is just images as planes, then it would just affect the whole plane as one image. So if I were to light it, it would light up the whole image. It's a better way of faking 3D for your green screen footage. And this is like, this is huge. I can even use another color and it, it's just, it's amazing. Actually, let's take a look at switch light. Now we're in it, switch light. So this is a uh, switch light. You can use it for free, try Beeble for free. Uh, and that's just what I've been using. So you try it for free, bada bim, bada boom. You log in like this. And then you can just upload your project. This is what you. This is uh, the project I've made. Um, yep. So this is the footage. Um, and then I can just relight it. And this is just a preview. This is how it would be in Blender. This is just an artificial light. And then I, I can relight my green screen footage, which is once again it's just this footage. This is the clip. Just me sitting here driving. And then it turned it into this, which is awesome. So what you can do with this is you can export it. And then it will give you the option to import your footage into Blender as fully relatable 3D asset, which is amazing. And they actually have a plugin which you just download. And then you download the footage as well. It will come up to your downloads. And then inside of Blender, you will just import it as any other add-on. You just go into Edit, Preferences. You go into Add-ons and you install from disk and you just... Oh, install from disk and then you just locate the zip file and then you got it here. Then you just activate it. Then you'll just find it over here under your add-ons. And then you can just uh, press import VFX passes and then it will just import uh, your 3D asset. And this is just the asset, what it would look like. And this is just the asset of me. It's a little life hack, I think. Also, if you don't have a green screen, though there is um, the downside with this is that it looks a bit 3D, as you could see here. It kind of looks a bit 3D. When I look at the camera, I don't know. I look like a, <laughs> I don't know. I look like plastic, I guess. So yeah, but that was just a little insight in some of the work I've done for this. Let me know if you'd like these short little videos where I talk a bit about the process. I'm looking so much forward to share this video, uh, my upcoming Harry Potter video. So stay tuned for that and I'll see you in the next video.